Hello you guys and welcome to another video. Today we will be reacting to my experience with the Matig Salib tribe of Davao City, one of the 11 tribes of Davao. And this was a special experience because not a lot of people are able to see what we see in this video. So I want to thank my Tita Lengai. She has a friend who is a native person, a person that is a member of this tribe, but she became a professional and she knew my Tita Lengai and that's how this entire video came together. And we're so lucky to have this experience. I'm so lucky to have filmed, edited and produced this, this video. So let's get it started here. We start our video in Buddha and I want to show you guys again how beautiful this place is it's called the sea of clouds and you can see that that's the truth that's the reality of what you see when you go to Buddha you will see the sea of clouds and an offshoot of the road is Barangay Baganihan that is where we meet the indigenous people the Matik Salug tribe for the very first time and this was something so cool. Uh, and reliving this, I, I remember I was uncertain of what to expect. I didn't know what I was going to see, what the tribe was going to be like, what they were going to show us. But in this video, I think I encapsulate everything that uh, this tribe wanted to show us. And that's my Tita Lengai. These are the women in the traditional clothing, the traditional instruments. I want to thank these two women because they put on a show for us later in the video and it was just it was eye-opening because i grew up in the u.s and i had no i felt like i had no connection to my filipino heritage and seeing this tribe seeing where my cultural heritage came from it was it was something it was something special to me personally and i want to Thank you guys for watching this video with me and, and being here to experience this again with me because I want to share Filipino culture through my videos. I want to share beautiful places, beautiful people, and everything unexpected that happens. You know, I want to stay curious with you guys. Here they are showing us the traditional dance. They're playing the music and they're talking about here. They're talking about the hula sisi, the Philippine parrot. <laughs> Nature is a big part of their culture, and it's deeply rooted in their in their beliefs. And these are things that I learned. But one of the coolest things that they showed us was cooking in the bamboo. Look at this. They're cooking. The, they're cooking rice in the bamboo put water and then the rice in there they seal it up and they put it on the fire how cool is that how cool is that these are things that you don't really get to see you know and while i was filming this i was like oh man this is so cool <laughs> and it tasted amazing this is the datu <laughs> the chief of the tribe and here, they not only cook rice, but they also cook chicken in the bamboo. And their recipes are so simple. It's just, you know, chicken, onion, tomato, salt, salt maybe salt and pepper. <laughs> but it's so simple, but there's so much beauty in simplicity. You know, there's so much beauty in a simple, in the simple life that these people in this tribe, tribe, lead you know there's a lot of calmness and serenity and simplicity and i think that's something that they taught me was you don't need too much to be happy you know i'm happy with just chicken <laughs> i'm happy with good food and here here are the uh the tribe's children i'm asking uh i'm asking him what he can tell us about their tribe and i think the the coolest thing the thing that really stuck with me is that they're happy to live the simple life you know they're happy with keeping their life simple 
And I think that's something that uh, keeps remind that keeps reverberating. I also want to live a. I wanted to. I don't want to live a simple life, but as simple of a life as I possibly can with the goals that I have with this YouTube channel. Focus on the good. And this broth was so good. <laughs> this chicken broth was amazing. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and sticking with me through all these reactions to our prior experiences on the channel. It's so fun. Here, the machete. <laughs> he cuts the bamboo open with the machete and then reveals the rice. And the rice was so good. It's like chewy. So uh, that's actually the type of rice I like. I don't like the soft rice. I like the firm, chewy rice. It's piping hot. Here, we're all chowing down, enjoying the meal that the Matik Salak tribe has prepared for us. And I want to thank the Matik Salak tribe. Thank you so much for sharing this experience and showing us your culture. And there we are. There we are. Look how small we are. And this is seeing shots like these just remind me of how how tiny we are, but how special and big moments are when we're all together and we're all experiencing things together. I think what my main takeaway from this video was, was that you should strive to have a simpler life. There's a lot of beauty and a lot of happiness in simplicity. So yeah, that's it for me, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.